I'm Bleeding Critic. Here's the review for Suspiria. When young people arrive at dance school or drama school, they're vulnerable because for many it's the first time alone away from home. In Suspiria, it captures that vulnerable vibe. Suspiria has a foreboding atmosphere that drills deep under my skin. Its ability to keep me thinking about it, drowning everything else on my mind afterwards is remarkable and rare. This horror film is more than just another horror film. It's an experience that deserves repeated viewing. I had a few questions and was confused a few times, which was initially frustrating, but then I admired that I wasn't given all the answers. It was down to my imagination to fill in the blanks and do some research online. The film's horrific moments are genuinely disturbing. There's a dance sequence where one person in one room and someone else in another, and it's one of the most creatively horrific scenes I've seen in a long time. This film will put off anyone who wants to train to be a professional dancer. The look of the film gives the impression it was made back in the 70s, which adds to its intention to be authentic to the year the story takes place. I've watched Suspiria twice and enjoyed it even more second time around. Any confusion and uncertainty disappeared after watching again, and the performances on screen are exceptional. Now Tilda Swinton as the dance teacher is mesmerising, and Dakota Johnson is brilliant. Everyone else is also exceptional. This is a beautiful looking film in every detail. The haunting music by Tom York is the creepy icing on the cake. Suspiria bleeds uncomfortable and depressing vibes. This is a one-off horror ride like no other, and even when nothing horrific is happening, it's still off-kilter it feels wrong, wrong in the best disturbing way. Even the calm moments are seriously creepy. Suspiria's brutality blended with genius creativity makes this journey nothing short of a horror masterpiece.